Okie dokie. These are our last five F1B Great Mountainese Doodles, all black and white. As you can see, we have one boy. He's right there, our light collar boy. Light blue collar boy, I'm sorry. This is Law of the Doodle, Canine Manor, and our uh, website is sheepadoodles.com. S-H-E-E-P-A-D-O-O-D-L-E-S.com. All right, <laughs> that hoppy bunny right there is our yellow collared girl. We have four girls and one boy remaining in this litter. They are going to be awesome puppies. Our Great Mountainese are a mix of Bernie's Mountain Dog, Great Pyrenees, and Poodle. Okay, and these are F1Bs, and I have not seen a bit of shedding. They may blow their puppy coat at one point in time, but I've found no hairs anywhere to indicate that they shed much at all. I'll never say no shedding, but uh, you're gonna see so very little in this second generation, okay? All the coats are consistent. We don't seem to have any unfurnished faces. Uh, just a beautiful litter. And it was a litter of 12, and we only have five remaining and they turn 10 weeks old tomorrow. So they are ready to go. They've had their first vaccines, uh, may even have a second vaccine by the time they start going home with their new families. But at this point, none of them are claimed and you can see their page on um, puppies available. Just drop down to the Great Mountainese Doodles on our website. And there's also information with regard to placing a deposit. Uh, we require a $300 deposit, 312 if using Square because they charge 4%, if not more. But uh, that's all we charge for that. Um, I always recommend that when we meet your, with your puppy, um, that cash check or another method we can discuss um, in order to avoid the fees, the credit card fees. I know that retailers uh, absorb those fees. They absorb them because they include them in the cost. Um, we just don't have the uh, generated revenue at our level of business uh, to be able to absorb those costs. Okay, so um, like I said, these guys are ready to go home and let me introduce the other ones. They're eating. I don't know why I put your food in here. I always do that, yeah. I just make a mess and get sidetracked. All right, this is our orange collared girl. She was our bashful girl in the beginning. Her markings are beautiful. I love these black and whites. I know a lot of people gravitate to the merles um, and I do love the merles, but I don't love them as much as my black and whites in both any of this, you know, with this breed, the pure doodle breed, but especially in my super doodle breed. Okay, but we've got an awesome, awesome tested merle stud that, um, we've had for a while, just one poodle stud, and that is our Grant, and that is their dad. Their mom is uh, fancy. Um, this was the last litter that we had that was a surprise due to the legumes that were added to our tried and true food for years that we used specifically because it didn't have legumes in. We had split heats, we had um, <laughs> silent heats and we even had missed pregnancies on a legit heat um, but fortunately through a fellow breeder of mine I found out what had happened to this food they also used the same food and we have since changed and so far so good um, our recent sheep doodle litter was one specifically planned beautiful eight puppies all healthy and growing well got new updated photos of them today all right so let's see, who else can we point out? Where's our beautiful white collar? She's the one that's eating. I love her markings, her white collar girl. Okay, and there's a yellow collar girl. They're just so excited to see me. I wish the weather wasn't so awful. I'd take them to the outside pen, but it has been doing nothing but raining. And uh, due to these storm systems coming out of the west, we're expecting more rain today, a slight break, and then we're supposed to get rain, I think, over the weekend. Um, but it is just, it's like, it's like a mud bog out there. Even my kennel dogs are not venturing out much except to, um, uh, go to the bathroom and they're not relaxing on the, you know, on the ground or in the yards. Instead, they're relaxing on their front porches or even inside the kennel if they so choose. Um, 
but uh, hopefully we'll see a break. I'd, I'd rather even see frozen ground over what we've been dealing with, but in all honesty, that will eventually have to defrost as well. So <laughs> um, right now I'm yearning for hot, dry summer weather. Um, and uh, well, in the springtime, their, their yards come back full and flush and green and it's just it's so much nicer for them and nicer for me. All right, that's our purple collared girl right there. Hey, look at me. Nope, she's gonna ignore me. Okay, uh, that's our white collared girl. <laughs> Got a little out of yourself there, didn't you? And that's our yellow collared girl and our orange collared girl. And where's my blue boy? He's right there, okay? That's my blue boy. These are all available, all five of them, and they are ready to go now. Um, I will be around this Saturday, um, beginning at one o'clock. If anybody is interested um, for pickup here, I don't have any road trips planned at this point uh, involving this litter. So um, please do get in touch with us. You can text us at 301-820-2272. Uh, don't use that for voice calls because as long as I'm home here, we don't have enough cell service for that, even through our lame Wi-Fi calling. And the Wi-Fi calling really only works Apple to Apple or iPhone to iPhone. Um, we have difficulty with um, any other phone other than iPhone. But we even struggle with text, to be honest with you, even through the Wi-Fi calling. iPhone to iPhone goes boom, boom, boom in blue. And uh, then, of course, any other brand of uh, phone uh, comes through as green and struggles to get through our Wi-Fi. <laughs> so um, I love it out here. It's beautiful. I wouldn't want to live any other place. But when you live rural, you definitely pay the price of lack of technology. And I really sometimes wonder, except that if I'm able to get hooked up with Starlink, um, if we're ever going to see any changes in my lifetime. They still talk about it. They talk about it. The politicians talk about it. But, you know, a lot of those promises come up empty. So, we'll see. We do the best we can. And I take my videos down the road uh, where I can get five bars on a tower that can't make it through the foothills to our home, even though it's only a mile away. And um, I'm able to upload videos zippity-doo, unlike um, with my, my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi can take several hours, and I can go down there and sit there for five or ten minutes and have it done. So... Yeah. But I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. So I praise God. So thank you for viewing our puppies. Again, F1B Great Mountain Mountainese Doodles. We coined the name. A uh, combination of Bernese Mountain Dog, Great Pyrenees, and Poodle. Um, and they are 10 weeks old tomorrow, ready to go. And please get in touch with us. Also, our email is lolpadoodle canine manor at p m give me a minute <laughs> dot me me <laughs> all right i had to think about that one for a minute uh i find that people do tend to gravitate to text i've had to kind of readjust my way of accepting inquiries um because i was always very dependent upon my email but um i've decided that i'll make it as easy as i can for people to get in touch with us so um, again, my cell phone number, 301-820-2272, and uh, you can give us a t uh, send us a text, and uh, we'll discuss further with regard to these puppies. Okay? Thank you for viewing our puppies, and may God bless you.